Hi, I'm Caitlin Lombardo. I'm the program coordinator for One Book, One Lincoln, and this is one of the videos for our uh, top three finalists for 2020. This particular video is for Dear Edward by Ann Napolitano. We have My Doe, one of our library service associates, who will be teaching us how to make some beautiful hand-drawn calligraphy. This is a central theme in Dear Edward, uh, beautiful letters that help him through a grieving process. So here is My Doe. Welcome and thank you for tuning in to this One Book, One Lincoln program. One of the finalists for this year is the book Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano, a book about a young boy who lost his entire family due to a plane crash and how letters helped him through the healing process. So please visit lincolnlibraries.org for more information. And with that, I've got an activity today that I'll give um, you a brief introduction into how you can create beautiful letters using items you probably already have in your home. Our project today will be introducing you how to make these bookmarks, um, primarily the Imagine Your Story bookmark with this unicorn um, and some other samples as well. And once you get comfortable with the techniques, you can move on to making other items that you'd like using modern calligraphy. The possibilities are endless and it just takes practice. So make them for yourself or gift them to a friend, whichever you'd like. The materials you'll need for this project um, are things that you can find laying around the house, things you've already got so you don't have to spend a ton of money or any at all. We've got your basic craft marker, which has got the wide tip, and then we've got paper here. This is basically just your eight and a half by 11 sheet that I folded into fours and I, I, I tore apart and you don't really need to cut it because it's kind of nice to have this rough torn edge. I like that effect a lot. I've got um, Q-tips or a brush or a sponge or anything that you've got really to just wet your paper later. Uh, some paper towels or a napkin and then just a small cup of water. So we'll be using those items there to create the watercolor effect that, uh, that we'll use also with the marker to make the coloring. So this is the, the basic strokes to doing modern calligraphy. Your, <clears throat> your downstroke is gonna be uh, more pressure, you're going to put more pressure on your downstroke and less pressure on your upstroke. So on your downstroke, you want to make sure that the tip of your marker here is angled down so you get as much of that surface there as possible. So you'll make, you just go down, put a little pressure. <clears throat> so your downstroke is going to be th nice and thick like that. And then on your upstroke, they're going to be thin. You can see here that's your thin upstroke and a little bit less pressure. So just rotate the tip of your marker a little bit and you get the thin going up there. And as you're practicing, you're, you'll notice that your marker tip is going to bend just a little bit. Um, and you see here there's a little curve. So you, best thing is to just rotate that tip and go the other way and it'll just bounce right back to where you need it to go. So you just practice your upstroke and your downstroke. Um, so that's basic up, down. And then um, we've also included a practice sheet here for you. You can see here <coughs> that uh, there's the up and down and then there's some curves that you can practice before you make your projects. So here, you know, that you can just go on your downstroke, go down. And then on your upstroke, down, up, whoop, up. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to get your you used to to how the strokes feel. And then when you get ready to do the curve, make sure you go down and then turn and up. You're wanting to do this as a continuous stroke. So flat and then you're going up. Go down and up. And then this one here, up and turn to go down and down. So <clears throat> that's basically that. And like I said, this is included in our downloads for you to, uh, to, to use and practice as much as you'd like. You just print it off and trace over that. And when you feel comfortable enough with that, you just use a blank sheet of paper. This is a sample of what we'll be making today. This is the bookmark with Imagine Your Story on it and the uh, picture of the unicorn um, and some coloring that I'll be showing you later. Here's a couple other samples I wanted to show you. 
that I've included in the download. So you just click on the link and the text here. I've got it templated out that you can just print off and, and practice the, the drawing part. And then here's another one. This one's book lover. And then this one fell asleep here. So these are just a few of the things that I've put together for you that you can, like I said, download and practice and make yourself at home. So after you've practiced your basic strokes, you can move on to the lettering portion. And these are included in the download as well. So just go ahead and print that off. Um, it's got the entire alphabet. So when you letter, here's a sample of how you can do this. A thin up stroke and a thick down stroke up. And trick is to, to kind of move your arm around um, to, to get the right part of the tip so that you're not putting the, the thick pressure on the entire letter. So we do thin and we turn it to get the, the thick and then down and up. So you can continue along and then I've included letters here that you can trace and then there's also spacing once you get used to it to do it on your own here. So, And it doesn't have to be perfect, um, it just takes practice and if you do it enough times you'll get used to it and then you can uh, move on to other things. So just like that, and like I said, the rest of the alphabet are there for you. Um, take your time with this, practice, 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 and uh, you don't need to have great handwriting to, to be good at this. Like I said, it just takes practice. So next, after you've gotten used to the lettering part, we'll make, um, this is the actual project that I'll be showing you how to make. Here's the imagine part that after you've practiced the alphabet, we can uh, use to, to, write, to write this out. Um, so here I'll start with a blank sheet of paper. We'll choose the color red and just write imagine. So just something like that. And then um, next I'll show you how to, to color that in. Here are some ways that you can um, use your markers to create color for your bookmarks or for anything else that you're making. It makes a really nice watercolor effect with this method that I'll be showing you. So I will start with um, this one here for Imagine Your Story. So we did the sample earlier, which is this. Um, all you'll need to do, you take your, your paper towel or your, your napkin, you just tear a little piece off like this, and then you choose your color. Um, we'll do purple here. Just color in bits of color spots, like that, and then we'll do some red here, maybe some yellow. It, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just pick your favorite colors and you go from there. So after you've gotten your bit of color onto your paper towel or napkin, just flip it over onto your design and you take your Q-tip, your Q-tip here, dip it in some water. It really saturate that Q-tip. Or if you have a brush or um, a, a, a foam, a foam brush, you can use that, but you basically just dip color or dip water and tap it down onto your napkin here to transfer that color from your napkin to your design. And then you lift it up and it gets that really nice coloring and you can move it around. 
Make sure you have something covering your table, otherwise it might transfer onto your table. Um, and then you move it until you're happy with the result. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Whatever makes you happy. So there you go. And if you want to do this for an overall effect, that's what you can do here to achieve, um, to achieve this type of effect. You can move it all over your paper. So you just take your color sheet here, wet, and then move it around. And do it multiple times if you'd like. Do it with different color combinations. You can do a single color combination. But that's basically what you do to create that nice watercolor effect using the markers that you already have. So then the other way you can choose to do this is to make a color gradient like this one here, and I'll show you how to do that. What you'll need then, again, you just take your Q-tip here, choose the colors that you want to go from. So I'll choose purple, and you just color the end of that Q-tip with your color, your first color, and you dip it in water, and you just go from one side to the other until that color runs out like that and then about halfway there and then you just flip on to the other side we'll choose um, maybe we'll do blue you choose your other color just color it in like that dip it in your water get that nice and wet and you go from this end over to the center and then it'll get like that and if you're not happy with how that gradient looks you can um, add more color to the other side until you're happy with it so we'll just color that in some more get some water on it the more layers you put on, the darker it'll be, just like that. And then we'll just wait for it to dry. So that's the gradient way. And then the other way is to achieve just an isolated color. So here I've got that sample made and you basically, instead of using the marker to color in your, um, in your design, just like in, take your Q-tip, color the end there to create that watercolor effect, dip it in some water, and just color it in to, to give it uh, that kind of color wa or watercolor look. And you don't have to stay inside the lines. You don't have to you know, follow any kind of rule. It's really just what you feel like and what makes you happy. So those are just some techniques um, you can use with your basic markers here with some q-tips or anything else you find around the house you can make lines with this you color that in again and you do your lines it doesn't have to be you know there's no rules to this you just do whatever you like however you feel like and you can go from there so after you've created your bookmark and added the color to it um, you'll find that with that water touching the paper it, it's going to curl a little bit in a way to dry it so it'll be flat as you just put it in between your paper towel or a napkin and then just place anything heavy on top of it for a while until it dries. Another great way to, to add a really cool effect and to dry it at the same time is you just sprinkle some regular table salt on top of your, your watercolor design here and wherever that salt hits the water and the color it'll be a lighter speckly design and it'll be really cool for a finished product. So those are some ways that you can use to dry your design and your project and get it nice and flat. Um, you don't need to have great handwriting to do calligraphy or hand lettering. So today I've shown you how to use to create this bookmark using beautiful letters with just things that you have lying around your house. You don't have to spend a ton of money. There's items that you've already got probably that you can use to make this. Um, there are supplies, there are specialized tools that you can purchase if you find that it's something that um, you really want to further seek and, and learn more about. And I, I'll include a list of books that you can check out of the library here if you're interested in learning more. 
Um, there's a ton of great projects, tips, and techniques that I didn't show you today. This is just a very basic brief introduction um, to, to how you could create these beautiful and profound letters. So make some for yourself, make some for your friends. There's a ton of projects out there and I can't wait to see what you make next.